Welcome to a quick tutorial using Canva to make your photos look really crispy. My name is Anita and I am a super part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And I first of all want to apologize for the horrible lighting. Starbucks uh, staff was gracious enough to let me use their conference room, which is closed off because there's lots of folks outside there. And there's also music and I don't want this video to have that music in the background. So I am sitting here in horrible lighting, but you're not going to see me much. You're going to see a screen where I have Canva ready to go. I have been using Canva for a long time for a number of different reasons. I think it's been since 2020 I've been using it. This is the home screen for Canva. You can pretty much make anything graphic on Canva. It's an amazing app and tool. I am not sponsored I just absolutely love Canva. I actually, you know, my coworkers tease me sometimes because I use it so darn much, but you're gonna go up to create design over at the top right. And when you scroll down and you do a custom size here, this is the bottom left here, you click on that. You can see that there's already an eight by eight inch here. And that's really what you want. Now, if yours doesn't have an eight by eight inch here, then what you're going to do is click on inches over here on the right, and then you're just going to type in eight by eight and then create new design. And this is the, this is the size that you would want for a logo for yourself. This is the size you want for the PNG photos for um, your Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari, if you do Depop, whichever, whichever ones that you use. Now, I'm going to go over here. You can see along the side, this is where you can go back to the home screen. We don't want that yet. Elements are just all the fun things that you can click on. Um, like I'll just type in something so you can see what I'm referring to. If I wanted a cat, there are different texts that you can use. And what I'm going to do is click on uploads because you can upload your pictures here. So if I wanted to upload more pictures, I have the ones that I need here, but I can click on upload files and then I can go to whatever I need and click on it and add it in. I already have some in here to show you. So these are ones that are already listed, but you can see that the lighting isn't super amazing for them. Um, so I'm going to start with, um, here we go. Is this the front? Yes, this is the front. So this was a really pretty mud cloth um, jacket that I found recently. And I, all I did was, and I should back up because for somebody who's never used it, I maybe am going a little too fast. So my apologies. Okay. So all I did was click on the picture that I wanted. Now I can expand it just like you could expand a picture in a Word document or a PowerPoint. You can expand it here. So I'm just going with the arrow that's diagonal here and holding my mouse and expanding it. And I always expand it at the bottom too. Now it has, this is my wall right here, right? If I go to edit photo and click on that, there's a background remover here. I don't know if the free version has the background remover because I have been using this since 2020. So I don't know. I think back then you had to pay for it to have the background remover. I don't know if it has it now. Um, so that's just something to consider if you if you want to use this, you know, to have that available, you may need to pay for it, but I'm not sure. Um, okay, so I'm gonna click on background remover first and it takes a hot minute for it. And you can see that it, it removed everything except that little bit of hanger and the garment. 
And now I can adjust it. So it's still a little bit dark. What I like to do is I like to just start. They have all of these different things that you can adjust. You can play around with them. I start with shadows. So I just start right here over on the left with shadows and I see how far I need to go. And that, that looks about right. It's almost at 100%. Now, if I wanted to, if I said, um, there probably was a little more clearness, clarity, when I took a picture of it, I can move it over for a little more clarity. And now those ivory parts of the garment look a little more crisp. If I wanted to brighten it up, I can brighten it up. So a little bit. Okay. Now, if I wanted to add another one, you can't see it. I don't know why this is covering it. Oh, that's why. So you can click off to the side. So that was, you know, I had just clicked back on the picture just like a second ago but I'm gonna go over to the side and click off of it because I am done with it. Now I can add another page and then I can choose another picture. So I'm going to choose this one because it's very shadowed. It's a pretty J. Crew garment. Okay, so again, I'm going to start up on the left here with edit video, edit photo rather, and the background remover. And then I go back and there's that adjust up at the top. And I'm going to get rid of all the shadows. Give it a little more clarity. And brighten it up a little bit. Now, if I go all the way like this, you can see at 100% brightness, it washes the garment out. So you just kind of have to play around with it. And sometimes when I'm playing with the pictures, if it's a garment that I'm not sure if I'm washing it out or if I'm if the colors aren't right, sometimes I'll have the garment right next to me while I'm doing it so I can kind of compare back and forth. But you have to decide for yourself you know, if that's something you want to do is to keep those garments by you. Um, so this J. Crew one, it still has just the littlest bit of darkness down here. However, the rest of it is very, you know, true to what the garment is. Um, so I would personally just leave it because you don't want to wash it out. Now I'm going to do the same garment but this time I'm going to do it without taking the background remover off because you may not want to. You may want to, let's say, somebody who has inside lighting and it's not horrible, like you can see the garment, maybe you don't wanna do the background remover. So here's the same picture. I'm going to expand it again. And now this time, instead of going directly to the background remover, I'm just going to go to adjust. I'm going to start again with the shadows. So I removed all the shadows. I'm just going to add, uh, to add a little clarity to it. And that already is making it look so much better. And then I would play around with the brightness again. And see, you can see it'll wash it out very quickly. So you got to be careful with that. So about here is okay. And that doesn't look too bad. Um, I haven't played too much around with Vibrant. So we can look. Personally, I just haven't played with that. Okay. It does make it a look a little more vibrant. So if you are somebody that didn't want to remove the background, you can see that it still looks pretty good. I mean, if I were looking through somebody's Poshmark or eBay and I saw this blouse, I would still choose to look through all the rest of the pictures and see if it's a garment that I would want to purchase. So let's try a couple more. Let's do this time. 
we're gonna do a front and back of a pair of jeans on the same PNG. So you may want to create a PNG where it shows the front and the back of the item on the same initial thumbnail of um, your listing. So here's the first one. Here's the front. Now I'm gonna slim it down on either side. This is just what I choose to do. You don't have to, because when you take off the background, it kind of takes care of that. And I bring it up to the top left. And then at the bottom, I just swing it down a little bit. And then I can remove the background. I don't have to, again, you can adjust color and you can do it that way if you're somebody who doesn't want to remove the background or for whatever reason, if the free version does not include removing the background. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the second picture up. There's the second picture. And again, I'm gonna slim it in on the sides as far as I can. And I'm just gonna go up a little bit. Um, something else that I like to do, and this has nothing to do with Canva, I don't know if you can see at the top of these jeans right here. I have a clear hook that I hang things on when I do it on the wall. There's another area of my house where I do pictures too, um, and it doesn't have a clear hook, it's something different but you might wanna have the clear hook here. I just feel like the less that the potential buyer has to look at that they can focus in on the garment, the more likely you are to have that person look through the rest of the pictures and maybe click on the like button or something like that. Okay, so I am expanding it. I'm gonna have to make it about the same size as the other garment. Now you can go up like this, and it's still here. What we'll save is anything that's within this PNG box. So that part of the hanger that's up here, that won't show at all in your PNG. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna remove the background and then play around with this just to make sure they're placed correctly. Okay, so this one, looks like it's just slightly smaller than this one. So I'm gonna go back and click on the first one and just shrink it up just a little bit so that they're about the same size. And sometimes you can't help it. You can't get it super even, but do the best you can. So that is the version with front and back. Now you can do front and back pants and dresses very easily when it comes to tops. If it's something super unique, um, let me see if I can come up with a good example of that. If it's something super unique that you want to show the potential buyer, then you might want to add it in. Let's see. Here, here's a good example. Okay. So I love this top. This is a vintage anthropology brand to keep your eyes out for. It is called Butterfly Dropout. It's actually got a really, really great sell through rate. Okay, so this particular one, I'm gonna remove the background. And then the back of it, I would definitely adjust the color. But in the meantime, let's just get the back of it on here so you can see what I'm talking about. If you wanted to show somebody how cool this background is, that maybe them seeing this and seeing the hood would maybe kind of tip the scales and get them to like it or purchase it, whatever, you can add this in. And personally, what I would choose to do is I would put it down in the corner. So maybe the other one, is the bigger picture, but then you have, the buyer can see how awesome and cool the back is. Because if I was to shrink this one down to this size and have the front and back there, it might kind of, the listing might get lost in the sauce. Like it might be a little bit too much to look at, or it just is 
crowded looking or something like that. So that's an option for you. And I could also, if I wanted to, if I only want to show the buyer part of the back, I can go down like this and create something where it shows just that part of the back as well. So that's an option for you as well. So when you go to save these, i got to move myself up at the top here. Okay. So when you go to save these, you're just going to title it. So I'm going to just title it Canva Tutorial. Okay. So I clicked on share after, so I typed in Canva tutorial, went over to share, clicked on share. And then when I went to, I go to download. This is what you want right here. This is the first thing that's going to pop up is PNG. And so there are other things that you can click on if you're doing other types of projects, but for the purposes of this Canva tutorial, you're going to need PNG. I would leave every, but everything here the same. Don't play around with that. But right here, we're gonna download all five of these, but if you wanted to just download one, you can just download one or two. I'm going to download all of them. So then you would just click on done and download. It just takes a hot minute for it to down. The more pictures you have, the longer it takes. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to go through this Canva tutorial with me. I really hope it was helpful. That's what I'm striving for with all of these videos is to be helpful in some kind of way. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel and I appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.